Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to insert image or picture on the user form. Let's proceed to developer tab. Click on Visual Basic on the user form. With the use of two box, insert image at the desired place. There are two simple methods to add picture on this image control without using VP coating. Firstly, let's back to the spreadsheet. Click on Insert. Under illustrations, select the desired type, for example, icons. Type and search the desired image. Select and insert. If you wish to maintain the background of this image as transparent, follow exactly this hack. Back to insert tab, click on illustrations. This time we should click on shapes. Select rectangle. Cover the previous image perfectly. No more, no less. And now change the shape fill color. If you did not change the default color of the back color of a user form by default, is this color and so for the shape outline pick exactly the same color and now send to back next press the shift key on the keyboard and select the previous image make sure both the image and the shape are selected copy and now back to visual basic under the properties of image one scroll and look for picture paste it here and the image will be added on this image control if you want the image to be fitted nicely for the picture size mode we should change to zoom or if you wish the image to be completely fill up the space of this image control we should pick stretch of course we can resize if needed now click on user form and run it and we should be able to notice the result if you wish the image to have no border let's back to visual basic double click on the user form click on the image control look for border color from the list of drop down select button face which is the default color of the user form and we should now have no border for the second method if you wish to insert this image on the user form by using file we should first copy and press ctrl alternate v paste that beep map click on ok now right click the image save as picture select the desired place change the save as type to windows beep map rename if needed click on save if you wish to delete after save of course can since this will not affect the result let's back to developer tab and visual basic select the image control again also under the properties image one scroll and look for picture and this time we should click on insert select the desired image and open and we should have exactly the same result on the other hand, if you wish to insert by using VB coding, for example, insert by using a command button, let's double click on the command button and write the code here. We should bear in mind that if you wish to insert by using VB coding, firstly, we should allow the user to pick an item. To pick an item, which means that we should have folder and files. To open the folder, we should apply an application, that is application.filedialog bracket and choose the type since we want to open the folder so we choose the third option close bracket and press enter but then bear in mind that we are going to call this application for more than one time instead of retyping this statement for more than one time we can actually make use of function that is with function and next on we just have to use dot and the function or the property for example show to show the folder since we have the folder and now we can pick and set the picture to the image control to do so we need me dot image and we have only image one so select image one and now dot picture set equal to load picture so that this picture can be loaded and pasted on the image control bracket dot the selected item which refer to the files selected in the folder if you allow the user to pick only one item put one in the bracket if you allow to have two then put two and so on close bracket again press enter the me here stands for the user form where the command button placed next we should change the size mode so again we need me dot image one dot picture size mode and we set equal to the desired mode and again we can now end this selection start with width of course we need to end with width let's click on run and see the result when we click on the command button excel will open the folder for us to pick out files that we like as we can see, we have several types of files, the PNG file, the bitmap file, as well as others. However, not all files accepted by VBA, for example, the PNG file. If you insert a PNG file, an error message received. To overcome this, we can first clear the filter given by the folder. To do so, before we show the folder, we should add 
filters and clear it. Next is to add a list of filters that includes the file type that we want. To do so, we need dot filters again. This time we should use dot add space. As we can see, we should give a description but in string, which means that we should start with quotation mark. As the name stated description, which means that the name here is not really important, just a remark. So we can simply put images quotation comma and go to extensions as strings again string use quotation always start with f straight before the file type and now give the file type for example we have dot give if you have more than one file type to be given use semicolon and space use f straight again before the second file type so we have dot bitmap file for example semicolon space again for the next file type and remember to close quotation when done and now click on reset and run it again insert and now we should be able to see that only the types of file we provided listed here select a file and open and the picture will be added on this image control on the other hand how well, if we allow multi-selection to do so after the folder is prompt we should allow the user to select multiple items. To do so, we need dot allow multi select and set equal to true. Press enter. Of course, we can set a condition to limit the selection. For example, a maximum of three items. To do so, we need e function. And now check for how many items selected. Again, use the file dialog. So dot selected items dot count. We should count how many items selected. Since we want to have maximum of three, so which means that more than three, we should alert the user. To do so, we can make use of a message box. Break it and type the message. For example, please select at most three items so that user know what is happening. Close bracket and press enter. After the user has seen this message, we should restart all over again. To do so, we can make use of go to and we pick line one. Label this as line one, which means that whenever after the message is received by the user, we should back to line one, the line that we label as one. Press enter, start with if, of course we need to end with if. Next, we should add the picture one by one to the image control. Unlike the previous method, this time I'm not going to make an image control available on the user form, since we are not sure how many items will be selected by the user, as long as and most three items. Therefore, I'm going Way to run the picture one by one. To do so, make use of for each a create a dummy to indicate the picture that selected. Where is the picture in the selection? So we need to use in dot the selected items. Next, before we are able to add the picture to any image control, we must have an image control. To ensure that we have the image control, I'm going to set another dummy called img as the image control. So we should set it equal to me dot controls dot add bracket and the type of control to be added if we are not sure what string to be typed here this a matter let's ask google add the search engine type controls dot add vba and we click on add method by microsoft.com scroll and look for the program id value for image control we should have forms dot image dot one let's copy and now back to visual basic and paste it here remember to add quotation marks since this must be in terms of string. Close bracket and press enter, and we should be able to add picture on this image control. So we should change me.image1 to simply img, which is the variable that we set. And the item to be loaded here is simply a, which is the item selected by the user. If you wish to have a specific size, put comma the desired width, for example 50, comma again the desired height, again 50 for example, and now set the picture size mode. Also change to IMG. Since more than one image can be selected, to avoid overlapping, we should place the image nicely. To do so, there are two methods. Firstly, it's side by side from left to right or top to bottom. If you wish to have side by side from left to right, which means that the image dot left position is very important. We can set by using a starting position. Simply let A B P as another variable. From the beginning, it's supposed to be zero. So we start from the left more editable area of the user form. Press enter and we should update every time a picture is added. The next position should be equal to the existing position plus the current image width. Finish the first item, we should proceed to the next. 
Before we run and see the result, let's back to user form, delete the existing image and click on run. Let's insert. Firstly, we insert 4. Open a message that we typed just now received. Click on OK. The folder is called again. And now let's select only 3 items. Click on open. As we can see, side by side, no overlapping and the images are fitted nicely. Click on insert again and this time we try to select one image and open. As we can see, the previous two items will still be there. To ensure that this is not happening, we should amend the code to remove the previous selected images. To do so, let's back to Visual Basic. On top of the coding, we should run through all the existing images on the user form. So we need for each image in me.controls since image is also one of the controls on the user form. But then we should bear in mind that not only images but we have command button. To ensure that we remove only the images, we should set a condition. So we type if the type name. We should check on this control. Is it the images that we are looking for? Make sure the spelling is correct. If this is the case, then we should remove this control. Recall that previously we used me.controls.add. And this time we should use remove instead of add. And we should bear in mind that this is string. If we use image, which is the control, an error will then result. To avoid receiving error message, we should use the name of this image. So we have dot name. And now we should end this condition. Start with if and with if. Finish the first image, we should proceed to the next. And now let's run it again. Insert. Let's say we insert only two images. Open placed nicely. Insert again. And this time we cancel as we can see all being removed. Lastly, before we end this video, let's learn how to call the stop by using image control on mouse click. Double click on the image control. Instead of using before drag over from the list of procedure, change to mouse up. Delete the unwanted if needed. And now type the code that we want Excel to perform. Let's back to the user form and run it. Click on the image control and we should be able to see that Excel performed as wheat. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this. See you.